everyone, it's Chris again and welcome back to my channel and a very happy birthday to me. It is my birthday today and today's video is gonna be an ode to myself. I know that sounds a little bit vain and narcissistic but trust me, it's not what you think. So an ode to myself is a walk down memory lane and I've already started this path with my video that I uploaded last New Year's at the start of the new year. So it was all about the best trips that I took and the best moments of 2018. But as you know, life is not all about these best moments. Life is filled with different Different sorts of emotions and feelings that help you grow so we have these sad moments we have these bad moments and of course we have these embarrassing moments for me that means a lot of embarrassing fashion moments and unfortunately for me these have been documented on my blog so there's no way I can escape them but that's okay because these embarrassing moments helped me to become the woman that I am today. They helped shape my life and I'm actually proud of them. This video is going to be a little reaction video to those old photos of myself. And I'm quite nervous because my team actually ran these up last night and they kept laughing while they were doing it. So I'm scared now. <sighs> I'm scared to begin. The first photo that they chose comes all the way from nine years ago. Oh my god, almost a decade. Guys, if you don't know, I started this blog when it was 2009 and I was still in college. Okay, the first photo that they found was from 2010. So all of these photos and blog posts, I will link down below so you can check them out and laugh with me if you want to. The first one is entitled Flatterby and I can't even deal with <laughs> I can't even deal with myself right now. This was an era of my life where lookbook was such a big Part. Lookbook.nu is kind of like an Instagram, but only for OOTDs. And this was created way before Instagram even existed. You go to this website and you see a feed of different OOTDs that people post from all over the world, and you can hype them. So hype was the like before. And I remember how I post my OOTDs. That's really like how I would dress up in school. I can't believe it. A lot of my posts and poses are actually inspired by lookbook and I see a lot of the other people, a lot of the other girls from all over the world do collages na they're posing differently and so ginaya ko to. I just used the camera of my laptop at that time, like the webcam and I just superimposed these photos really poorly. You can still see the lines in the side but yeah, I think the main takeaway of this photo is that I am very, very confident. <laughs> Back in 2010, at the age of 20, I was a very confident girl. Kasi nakapost ako ng photo na ganito at hindi ako nahiya. Oh my goodness. And because I was still in college and I didn't have budget, this top is actually my mom's old white top. And these pants are actually my mom's also. Which is why it's super high-waisted and I belted it really tight because it was loose on me. It just goes to show that you can really be creative even if you don't have the budget. It's In fact, all these limitations are going to challenge you more to be creative with your looks and to come up with a style that you're happy with. So it doesn't mean na kailangan you have to shop branded or you have to have a lot of money to pull off looks that are creative. Because when I started, like I was okay ukaying my mom's closet. <laughs> and yeah, this is the result. Ugh, okay. Moving on to 2011. This comes from the blog post, Make Up for Lost Time. And again, <sighs> this one is nakakahiya talaga. This one is nakakahiya talaga. You can see that I took this using the webcam of my laptop because the photo is really grainy. And I know that grainy photos are uso now, but this one is like not edited grainy. Like grainy talaga siya because the quality of the photo is so bad. And I think at this time I was sponsored by these like hair tie things, which is why I keep wearing them in every photo. When you're in college and somebody sends you an email like, hey, can you post a photo wearing this item, I'll give you this item for free. You're like, hell yeah, like give it to me. It's so cool, I'm getting free stuff. That was what happened with these hairbands and that is why I'm, I'm wearing them in every photo. Now, don't be afraid because I did not wear this outfit out, thank God. As you can see, my bra is seen, but it's not racy or anything because I, I have the body of a child. I don't know why I'm wearing all these colors. I feel like sobrang experimental ko at this time. I didn't really know my personal style and I kept looking at all these street style stars from Lookbook and they were all wearing these colored tights. It was uso at that time and they were just so experimental and so carefree. So I felt inspired to do the same. And as you can see, I was meant to be an Instagrammer kasi 
<laughs> Meron ako mga stack magazine sa gilid as props. Meron pa ang yellow pages dito. Oh. Grabe yung creativity ko at resourcefulness, ha? Moving on to 2012. This is from a blog post called Sitting with My Eyes Closed. And I'm so happy that I have evolved here. My photography skills have quadrupled in Level Up. Actually, this was taken by my friend Edric Chen. So as the years went by, so 2009, 2010, 10 to 11, and 11 to 12. Naka three years na, so meron akong budget mag hire ng photographer. He actually shot me for a Levi's campaign, and this is one of the photos that we came up with. This was shot around the fort area pa, and at that time, wala pang mga bloggers, so okay lang to shoot at the fort, it wasn't common, and wala pang permit permit, okay lang. Levi's asked me to take photos with their jeans, and I was so happy because Levi's is such a big brand, and it made me feel like my work was kind of acknowledged by a bigger authority, so I felt so happy. Also, so the shoes that I'm wearing in this post are also sponsored by one of my first ever shoe sponsors. They're called Michael Antonio. Michael Antonio shoes, I don't know if they're still alive today, but they were one of the first sponsors that I ever had. And when I was still in college, they kept sending me super high heeled shoes. And I was so proud, but I couldn't wear them in school. Because if I wore it in school, diba. Right? And medyo chumil na yung style ko. As you can see, I'm wearing the Levi's jeans that are colored and cropped. I'm also wearing here my favorite basic tube top from Forever 21 that I kept for maybe like 10 years. I love tank tops and classic pieces that you can just layer because it doesn't matter how many times you wear them, hindi siya halata that you're wearing them over and over and over again. And that's sort of how I maintained a versatile wardrobe when I was starting. And I just paired it with this oversized polo. I'm not exactly sure where I got this, but I know this isn't mine. And I just tied it up. And the look is actually not bad. I would still wear this look today. 2013 is from a blog post called Garden Girl. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, let's talk about my hair. I cut my own bangs and full bangs siya. Medyo mali yun. But I'm glad na ginawa ko to kasi ever since this moment, I never cut my own hair again. And this was also the time of smoky eyes and very pale pastel lips. I don't know why I look like I'm dead in this photo. Like, my lips are so, so pink and light. But, in my defense, I feel like uso siya at that time. Also, please take note of the necklace that I have on and all these bracelets. Uso rin siya at the time in my defense, but I did love stacking accessories on. I'm also matching a pastel purple laser cut top with this mint green lacy skirt, which was also very uso at that time. So this was the time when I was all about the trends. I think this look could still work today, minus the accessories, maybe with a different bag, maybe with a different belt, and maybe with my hair tied up in a bun. So I'm not too offended by my outfit here. I'm more offended by my choice of hairstyle and my choice of makeup. 2014 is from the blog post called YPS and Nikes. YPS and Nikes. I don't even know why I have these blog titles. But as you can see, I grew out my bangs. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and I also colored my hair. For the first time in my life, I colored my hair. So ever since I was born until when I was 23, my hair had been black and virgin hairy. And when I was 24, I decided to take the plunge and dye my hair and color it, which is why it's a little bit on the copper shade here. But on this look is bagay parin today. It has a 90s vibe to it. I am finding my choice of background very questionable because it's a very like dead gate. I was shooting in front of a haunted house. The gate is all rusted and stuff, and I would never post on a gate like this again today. It just goes to show how creativity evolves and how I notice more things now than I did back then. Today I would wear this except maybe without this weird lunchbox bag thing and without this cap. I still have these shoes up to now and I still use them and this was back in 2014. So five years ago, sneakerhead na po ako. See? Starting the trend. <laughs> okay, 2015. It is a post called Grow Up. I think these were my transformative years because 2015 was also when I chopped my hair really short. So growing up as a kid, I was always mistaken for a boy. I did not look like a girl at all. I was so fat and chinky eyed and my hair would not grow. So when I was young as an infant or a toddler, everybody would go up to my parents and say like, oh, you have such a cute little boy. And I think that sort of affected how I grew up. And that's why I'm so kikai today. I'm like, Making up for lost time 
like, I'm a girl. Because of that, I never allowed my mom to cut my hair above my shoulders. I always wanted long hair because I associated girliness with having long hair. And when I was 25, I finally realized that that's not the case. And I finally got the courage to chop my hair off and shape it into this short bob, which I absolutely loved. If I have a chance today to cut my hair really short, I would do it, but I'm just growing it for my wedding. I'm so happy with that decision. And in fact, after I got that haircut, a lot of people really went up to me and complimented me and said, you know, it, it was a good choice for me to cut my hair. So I'm so happy with that. Moving on to the outfit, as you can see, sobrang nag-iba at nag-mature yung outfit ko. I actually wore this look to an event. This top came from a set that was given to me by an Indonesian designer or a Thai designer, if I'm not mistaken. I paired it with these wide leg white trousers that I had cut made from Rosenthal T, who was my classmate back in college and if you guys are familiar with that name today, she's a very famous designer already. I'm so happy to announce that I budget na ako at this point in my life because I have custom na ako ng pants. I have a designer bag and I'm also wearing designer shoes, my first ever designer shoes. These are from Alexander Wang and I got them on sale and I still have them today. And I'm super proud of them. So I'm quite happy with how my style has evolved. At 25, I look 25 and I'm very happy about that. Okay, moving on to 2006 and the blog post is called Tea Bag. Tea Bag is actually a Korean designer and this photo was taken in Korea at Seoul Fashion Week and I'm so happy to announce that I was invited to Seoul Fashion Week despite all my fashion faux pas in the past na invite for na Fashion Week. Thank you. I feel like this outfit is very wearable. I would definitely still wear this today. These boots are from Mista. They're super comfortable and I love them because they're leather, they're high Healed and the back is a very intricate rock finish detail. I wear them a lot and they're really comfortable. Another thing to note here is my hair color. I did go through a phase where I really enjoyed dyeing my hair. I felt like it really transformed all of my fashion looks. I really toned down the outfits and really played with hair and beauty. And this phase, I dyed my hair red a lot, like McDonald's red. And I was so proud of it until one day I was walking down the street in front of Slater and his best friend and his best friend told him, wow, Chris's hair is red, like really red. And he didn't mean anything by it, but I sort of realized like, holy crap, I look like McDonald's. Like on that same moment, I'm like, I need to dye my hair, I need to dye my hair. Okay, last two photos, wearing pajamas to Fashion Week. So again, I'm very happy to announce to you guys that after Seoul Fashion Week, I was promoted to New York Fashion Week at na invite ulit ako. This time, I'm wearing an all-striped outfit. I'm wearing nothing designer here, except this bag, which is Kate Spade, which is sort of designer. It's like mid-range designer, but nothing super fancy. I shot these in Times Square with my friend Martz, who I went to college with, and now he's a photographer in New York. I'm so proud of him. At this time, 2017, I already knew that fashion was not my passion. But because I was invited to Fashion Week, I made a little bit of effort dressing up, but I really didn't want to spend so much. Like my other blogger friends, when they go to Fashion Week, they really invest in all the key trendy pieces, trendy designer pieces of that season. Like they'll invest in these Balenciaga boots or this new IT bag. But because I knew that that isn't where I wanted my direction to be, I just sort of grabbed whatever was in my closet and made do. And so this is the outfit that I came up with. It didn't get me like all these pap shots that bloggers usually get, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with the fashion. I'm happy with my photo. And I'm happy that I didn't spend so much. So this outfit, I would probably not wear here in the Philippines, but I'm not, it's not too bad. I'm not too ashamed of it. Okay, last but not the least is a blog post from last year, and it is entitled How to Pose for Photos. This is actually an outfit that I would say is still very me today. I still have this dress. I still pose like this. I still wear things like this. And as you can see, my style has really, really, really evolved from very maximalist, and experimental to a little bit more on the formal side to very chill, casual, and effortless, which is my style for today. And as you can see as well, I've grown up my hair and it's no longer red and I'm very happy with it. My makeup is also a lot more chill. It's more natural, everyday makeup look. All in all, I would say that these photos that my team chose really show the transformation of my personal style. And it goes to show that even if you don't know what your style is today, you can discover it as you go along. Oh my! It's definitely fun to take a look back at old photos. I'm so happy that I have a vlog and I have a vlog and it's so easy for me to look back at all these moments in my life and laugh about them and share them with you guys. A lot of these fashion choices I'm not so proud of and I, in fact, I didn't show you all of the very embarrassing photos. Some of them are in my book. So if you guys haven't 
had a chance to grab a copy, then please do get one. Here are some of my pre-blog OOTDs. Oh my god, hindi pa ako nagbo-vlog nito. I took this in my mom's old bathroom. I was really meant to be a blogger. There are a lot of them. It's on my blog and I didn't delete anything so you guys can still search and laugh with me at these moments. These are not fashion moments that I am exactly proud of, but these are also not something that I want to change ever. If you ask me if I could go back in time and erase all these moments from my life, I would definitely say no because they play a big part in creating who I am today. In life, I would say that it doesn't only apply to fashion. There are so many things in life that we may not be proud of, we may be embarrassed about or feel bad about or feel sad about, but these are all part of life and every human has to go through it. And I feel like it's part of what makes life interesting and colorful. And it's nice to look back at these moments that we felt so bad about and sad about. Now, looking from afar at it, it's, it feels so good to just laugh about it and say that, yeah, that was part of my life. I hope that this video inspires you guys to look positively on everything about your past life. I hope it inspires you to be more experimental, to be more happy and chill and open to new things and open to experiences. And with that being said, I would like to greet myself a very happy birthday again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then join the family. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!